Hello guys, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at activity 16b. The question says open the file webheat.csv. This contains data about the number of members of an online book club and the average number of website hits each week over a nine year period. Okay, create and label an appropriate uh, graph or chart to show a comparison of these two sets of data. So, when we talk about uh, comparison here, so our mind should go to line chart, right? So, let's go and open web uh, hit.csv. So, I'll, I'll go to my um, chapter folder. So, I want to go to chapter 16. I want to open web hit.csv. First of all, I want to save this file as uh, activity 16b. So as a workbook, um, I want to save it in my um, yeah my tasks folder here. So I want to call it activity 16b. Okay, that good. So um, we want to compare uh, these dates over nine year period. Uh, we want to compare the the number of website hits and with uh, the number of uh, members, right? So what I want to do, um, I want to select um, everything here. Let me just select everything here. Okay. I want to go to insert. I want to go to line charts. Okay. So this is the appropriate um, okay chart for this. Let me just reduce this side a little further. Okay. So uh, let me just move uh, this to this side and then maybe increase the size a little further. Uh, we increase it this way too. Okay, I think it's okay like this. So the next thing I want to do, I want to label it, right? Um, so let me call the so this is the title, the chat title. So I want to say, uh, let me just copy this here. Let me just copy what is in here. Comparing members uh, and website hits. So let me just copy this as my title. I want to paste it in here as my title. So I want to so then this uh this side should be let me see let me just um, click here and then add the axis so the vertical axis uh, what should we name the vertical axis we want to we want to name it um, uh, members member slash um, website uh, hits website hits something like this Right, yeah. So um here I'm going to name this place uh date. Let me just name it date, okay, which is the uh horizontal axis. So I'll, I'll call it date here. Okay, so I think we've given it appropriate labels and then um uh did not tell us to remove the um in fact the legend here is very very important as, as a matter of fact. So I think this is how it's supposed to be. So I want to save my changes and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.